Hi, in this lesson we're going to depart a bit from our normal song lesson and talk a little bit about technique and specifically finger picking. And I'm going to be referring to a download that you can go up to, go up in the little description box and click on the Mediafire website and you can download Ukulele Finger Picking Patterns by Michael Lynch, Ukulele Finger Picking Lesson number one. It looks like this. Now, it's a, it's a two-sheet uh, lesson, and it covers uh, some general topics about finger picking, and then specifically about one pattern, uh, which I call pattern number one for my purposes. It's also known in general as Travis picking. And I opened up this uh, video with that pattern. Uh, it's a beautiful little flowing pattern. You can do melody with it and accompaniment. It's, it's a great pattern that you can play with. Um, in classical guitar technique, the right hand has always been notated with letters rather than numbers. Now, with the left hand, it's pretty easy. Thumb, first, second, third, and fourth finger. But the right hand, the way we notate it in classical guitar is the thumb is the letter P, the index finger is the letter I, the middle finger is the letter M, the ring finger is the letter A, and the little finger is the letter D. Now, in general, we don't use the little finger in finger picking. It's used in rosgato and flowing, stroking, strumming patterns. But in specific fingering, we are going to avoid using it. And in ukulele, with only four strings, quite often you just use these three fingers, P, I, and M. Now, uh, when we play this pattern, the Travis pattern, the Travis picking pattern, um, the I finger, the index finger, is assigned to the second string. The M finger is assigned to the first string. The thumb is assigned to both the fourth and the third string. So these two fingers never stray away from these two strings. They, that's their home. The thumb, however, alternates between the fourth and the third string. And the pattern for a one, four, beat measure of Travis is played like this. Thumb first, P, then M, then thumb again, and then I, and then we do it all over again. Thumb, M, thumb, I. Now notice I've got my thumb ahead of my fingers. Avoid having your fingers ahead of the thumb. Have, slide the fingers back, keep them curved. Don't, don't do this. Don't flatten your hand out. Keep your hand up and keep those fingers curved so that when you stroke the strings, the fingers actually come up in to the palm of the hand, like so. As opposed to, you don't want to pull the strings, you want to stroke them. So the thumb first, on the fourth string, then M, thumb on the third string, and then I. Now notice we always alternate fourth string, third string, fourth string, third string. So um, if you start off with the pattern slowly at first, it sounds like this. Just, just on open strings. Increasing the tempo once you get more confidence. G chord. A minor. G. Now with slight variations like a suspended second where you lift the middle finger, or a suspended fourth where you put the little finger down on the third fret, you can get a little effect like this. Then when I go to A minor, The variations are endless. You can come up with all kinds of variations. 
This actually is a nice just uh, as an instrumental. You don't even have to use it to accompany a song. But it's a great pattern to accompany anything in 4-4 time. A gentle ballad, um, folky kind of song. It's a great pattern. It's called Travis Picking. And on this sheet, I call it pattern number one. And in uh, f a future lessons, I will uh, lay out other patterns, two, three, four, and five, and so forth. And uh, eventually, uh, when I am doing a song, I will say, use pattern number seven on this. Uh, try pattern three or four, or mix up pattern six and two, or whatever. And uh, so, uh, collect these, uh, download them, keep them in a little a folder, a little three ring binder so you can refer to them because this is just the first installment. It's up there in the Mediafire website, link onto it, click on it, download it, print it out. And uh, like I say, take it slowly at first. Uh, if you don't think you can finger pick, uh, you got another thing coming. You can learn how to do this. You can do finger picking. It's a nice alternative to the, the typical ukulele strum, which is fine, but there are times when you'll want to do something a little gentler and a little bit more uh, maybe uh, interesting with a little Travis pick. So have fun, enjoy it. And I'm enjoying all of the little notes I'm getting from all of you uh, youksters out there of all ages. I've got people as young as like eight and nine years old all the way up into their 70s. It's a great instrument for everybody to learn to play. Have fun. Happy strumming. <laughs>